Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'll tell you how to implement mod 5 asynchronous down counter. So counter is a circuit which counts number of clock pulses. And this modulus indicates how many clock pulses that counter will count. So here this counter will count total 5 clock pulses. So number of states are 5. Range of this counter is as this is down counter so it will count in downward direction so range is n minus 1 to 0 that is 4 to 0 so it will count from 4 to 0 then this is asynchronous counter which is also called as ripple counter meaning is in asynchronous counter external clock is given to only one flip-flop and output of first flip-flop act as clock input to second flip-flop so all of them are not in synchronization with each other and that is why name is given as asynchronous counter then when we design counter we need flip-flops so first step is we need to identify how many flip-flops are needed to design this counter again i'll tell you See, there are two methods. One method is how much is maximum count? Maximum count is 4. How to write 4 in binary? It's 1, 0, 0. So, how many bits are needed? We need 3 bits. So, number of flip-flops are 3. That is one method. Another method is this capital N. N must be less than or equals to 2 raised to N. Here, small n indicates number of flip-flops so here if i'll put three it will satisfy the condition so number of flip-flops needed are three then basic difference between up counter and down counter ripple counter in up counter q output of first flip-flop act as clock input to second whereas in case of down counter q bar output of first flip-flop act as clock input to second again you will not find many videos related to this on YouTube. So, watch this video very carefully. So, first we will start with state diagram. So, how many states we have? We have 5 states from 4 to 0. So, it will start counting from 4. Binary equivalent of 4 is 1, 0, 0. Then comes 3. Then 2 will come. Then 1 will come. Then 0 will come and after 0 it will again go back to 4. So it will keep rotating between these states. Now state diagram is ready. Now let's start with the circuit diagram. I need 3 flip flops. I have taken JK flip flops. You can either use JK flip flops for ripple counter design or you can also use T flip flops. I will use negative edge triggered clock. External clock is connected to first flip-flop. The flip-flop which receives external clock that generates least significant bit. And the last one will generate most significant bit. Then external clock is connected to first flip-flop. Output of first flip-flop act as clock input to second. This is down counter. So Q0 bar will act as clock input to second. Q1 bar will act as clock here. So, in this way, clock will get connected. One more thing is as this is ripple counter. So, inputs J and K of every flip-flop. Design of a synchronous counter is very easy. J and K inputs are permanently connected to VCC. So, J, K are connected to VCC. Clock is connected in this way. Now, next step is we need to use preset and clear inputs here. So, I will take preset. They are active low. Bar indicates active low or this bubble also indicates active low. And this is clear. I have prepared separate video related to preset and clear inputs. How they work. The link is given in the description box. Okay, you need to remember preset and clear inputs are used to either set output of flip-flop to 1 or to make output of flip-flop to 0. They are active low. It means if they will receive zeros, let's say I have this flip-flop and if this clear will receive 0, then output will become 0. If preset will receive 0, it will set output to 1. 
let me write truth table of jk flip flop jk qn plus 1 so here in jk flip flop when both inputs are zero next state will remain same as present state when input is 0 1 output is 0 for 1 0 it is 1 and when both inputs are 1 next state is always complement of present state and you need to see here j and k of every flip flop are connected to 1 1 so our counter will work in this state only we need to check this state only next is this counter now will count from 1 1 1 to 0 0 0 but do we want this no what we want we want 1 0 0 2 0 0 0 we don't want to start from 1 1 1 and that is why we need to design a logic which will set our output to 1 0 0 after 0 0 0 in natural down counters after 0 0 0 what comes after it will after 0 0 0 1 1 1 will come but what we want after 0 0 it should go to 1 0 0 so what we will consider will consider when 1 1 will, will try to come it should reset so for 1 1 1 all outputs are 1 so we will take all of them and will connect them to input of NAND gate in case of NAND gate when all inputs are 1 then only output is 1 so I will connect Q to Q1 and Q0 to input of NAND gate. See, so when after 0, 0, 0, it will try to become 1, 1, 1, then output of this NAND gate will become 0 and what we want at the output we want 4 here this this is my q0 this is my q1 and my q2 so my q2 must be 1 and my q1 and q0 must become 0 so what i'll do i'll connect output of this nand gate to preset preset of and I will connect output of this NAND gate to clear of these two. Now see what will happen as soon as this will become 0. It means after 0, 0, 0 when this circuit will try to generate output 1, 1, 1. Then output of this NAND gate will become 0. It is connected to this preset. So Q2 will become 1 and it is not connected to other two presets. They are connected to VCC. Then this, pre, this output is connected to these two clears. So Q1 will become 0 and Q0 will also become 0. And this clear is connected to VCC. It is connected to high potential so that it will not act. So that Q2 will become 1 and these two will become 0, 0. So that it will start counting from 1, 0, 0. Now let's verify this circuit using timing diagram. So this is my clock. Here you can see clock is H triggered negative H. Bubble indicates negative. Arrow indicates H. So negative H. Negative H means falling H from 1 to 0 transition. So output will change at negative ages now initially we will assume my q0 is 0 q1 is 0 and q2 is 1 so q0 is 0 q1 is 0 and i'll assume q2 is 1 why because my counter will start counting from 4 so 1 0 0 now, how this circuit will work? Look at this Q0, external clock. When clock will come, it will check what is J and K. J and K 
are one. Both are one. So next state is complement of present state. So next state will become one. Here again J and K are connected to one. So next state is complement of present state. So present output is one. So next state output will become zero. So this will keep on complementing. Next. See, this is my Q0. But what is connected to clock input of next flip-flop? Q0 bar. So, I will also have to know what is Q0 bar. So, Q0 bar is here. 1. It is complement of Q0. For this Q1, what is clock? Q0 bar. So, output will change at falling ages of Q0. So, this is falling age. This is falling age. So, output will change at those falling ages. So, here output will change from 0 to 1. Q1 will become 1 and it will remain 1 up to next negative age. Then here it will again toggle and it will become 0. Now, what we want? We want Q1 bar. So, I will check what is Q1 bar. Of course, Q1 bar is complement of this q1 so here it is 1 then it will become 0 then it will become 1 here and for q2 output will change at falling ages of this q1 bar see q1 bar will act as clock input here so for this is falling age so output will change here so output will become from 1 to 0 it will become from 1 to 0. So, I will write values here. 1. I am interested in Q0, Q1, Q2. I am not interested in Q0 bar, Q1 bar. They are needed only when they act as clock. But actual output where I will see? I will see here Q0, Q1 and Q2. 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0 and 0. So, see here, it is Q2 is my MSB. The flip-flop which receives external clock is LSB. So, Q0 is LSB. So, 0, 0, 1. That is 4. After that, next is Q2 is my MSB. 0, 1, 1. That is 3. 0, 1, 0. 0, 1, 0, 2. 0, 0, 1, 1. 0, 0, 0 is all zeros. And after that, output will try to become 1, 1, 1. But as soon as it will try to become 1, it will not get reflected at the output. When it will try to become 1, 1 and 1, here 1, 1 and 1, then it will generate output 0. And this 0 will get connected here. So, Q0 will become 0. Here, Q0 will become 0. So, instead of 1, it will remain 0 here. Then Q1, what where it is connected to Q1. Output is connected to clear. So, Q1 will also become 0. And here, this is connected to preset. So, Q2 will become 1. So, Q2 will become 1 here. So, output will become 1, 0, 0 that is 1 0 0 is 4 so 4 will come and after 4 again in this way 3 2 1 0 will come after 0 again 4 will come so in this way this down counter will work thank you so much for watching i hope it is clear to you that how this circuit will work don't forget to share this video with your friends and please subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching